The most widely accepted explanation that eventually emerged is known as the airburst hypothesis. According to this theory, the Tunguska object, either a stony asteroid or an icy comet, never actually impacted the ground. Instead, it entered Earth's atmosphere at an extremely high speed, estimated to exceed 50,000 kilometers per hour. The immense friction and pressure caused the object to heat up, disintegrate, and explode in midair, roughly 5 to 10 kilometers above the forest canopy. This midair explosion explains several of the baffling observations from the site. The trees at ground zero were stripped of branches and bark, but left standing, while the surrounding forest was flattened in a radial butterfly-shaped pattern. The airburst released energy equivalent to approximately 10 to 30 megatons of TNT, hundreds of times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Shock waves from the explosion were recorded by barometers as far away as England, demonstrating the extraordinary reach of the blast. Unlike typical meteorite impacts, no large fragments of the Tunguska object survived to reach the ground, which is why Kulik and later scientists could not locate a crater or recover meteorite pieces.